here for our PLC, we have a PLC that's working with sourcing inputs. So the 24 volts is gonna come in through our devices, through our input devices, and go into the PLC. So if we turn on uh, input two right here, <clears throat> that leads into uh, input two and that turns on, uh, makes true input two. So that works and that works with any two wire uh, input devices, push buttons, switches, things like that. Where we run into trouble is with three wire input devices. Three wire input devices, the polarity matters with those, so we either have to have we either have to have the PLC set up for syncing or sourcing. Now with this particular one, with our uh, S7-1200, we can set it up either way that we want to. So for this particular PLC, since we have the negative side connected in the common of all of our 24 volt DC inputs, this is set up for our sourcing inputs. That's what we have. And if we wanted to change it to work with syncing inputs, we would simply move this wire over to the L plus side so that all of our commons of our inputs uh, were on that L plus side. Now, here we have a photo eye that is a PNP uh, sourcing device. So <clears throat> when we see it, we will be able to uh, know that it's working. It gets the, the green light comes on whenever it senses uh, something in front of it. And if you notice, it's wired up to input three. So this input light will come on because this is a sourcing device, PNP transistors uh, going into a PLC that's set up for sourcing inputs. So that works as needed. Okay? The best thing that we can do <clears throat> is to match our input devices with what the PLC is set up for. Okay? So if your PLC is set up for sourcing devices, make sure you buy PNP transistors with any three wire input devices so that they are set up for sourcing already. That's the best way to do it. But if you run into issues where we have uh, something that we're trying to hook up to, such as this proximity sensor, this proximity sensor is an NPN sensor. So it's a three wire input device uh, that is wired up to input four on our PLC. So it's wired up to this input. As you notice, whenever it senses metal, it is, it is sensing it. We see that with the indicator light there. But notice that input is not coming on. That is because this needs to be wired up instead of a, a sourcing device, it needs to be wired up for a, a syncing device. And if we want to make that change uh, in the PLC, we can, okay, we can if we simply move this wire over, okay, and then it will work. So we move the wire, <clears throat> so now we're set up. Uh, so that this proximity sensor can work, and if we notice now when it senses metal, uh, input 4 comes on because we have it set up for a syncing device. So it works, no problem. Issues we have is now we can't use uh, the photo eye. Okay, notice the photo eye, notice input 3 is not coming on. So we have to figure out a better way uh, to go about it, a, a little workaround if we need to use both types of devices. So the workaround that we have for this is going to be, uh, we're going to be using this, this relay, okay? This simple relay to be able to uh, change around our, our syncing device. And what we're gonna do is we're not really turning it into a sourcing device. What we're more doing is turning it into a two wire input device. We're gonna be able to uh, set it up so that this proximity sensor energizes the coil in our relay, and then we use the contacts of that relay to then go into uh, the input device, the input on our PLC. Okay, so in order to do that, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to be uh, moving uh, the wire from our uh, proximity sensor. So instead of having uh, the collector, which is a black wire here, the collector of that, that transistor, instead of it going to our input uh, on our PLC, we're gonna move it so it goes over uh, to the other part of the relay of the coil on the on our relay, okay? <clears throat> that way we can um, move it and we can run it in as a, a syncing device with our relay since we can't run it as a syncing device directly to our PLC, okay? <clears throat> so the emitter and the collector are still going to be on the negative 24 and the, po and the, ne on the negative and the positive of our 24 volts, okay? So those can't move. That, that polarity is, is fine. That works for us. It's just a matter of 
uh, where does the collector go? It can't go directly into the PLC. So the only one that needs to be changed is going to be the collector of our proximity sensor. Uh, the emitter and the base, they both stay on the positive and uh, negative side of our 24 volts, uh, so that's okay. We just need to move this collector over so it's with the relay instead of going directly into the input uh, of the PLC. We connect, after we connect that, all we need to do now is add the contacts of the relay into the input of the PLC uh, and then <clears throat> what the proximity sensor will do now is it will close the set of contacts on the relay and then that contacts of the relay will become our uh, input into input for our PLC. Turn power back on. Okay, so this photo eye still works as it should. And then now our proximity sensor <clears throat> energizes the coil here. The contacts close. The contacts are then wired in to input four of our PLC. And I'll put the whole wiring diagram for this uh, posted below the video. So this allows us to run both uh, NPN and PNP three-wire device uh, into a single PLC uh, setup and sourcing mode. And we could do the same thing if we wanted to do syncing mode. This would then get wired directly into the PLC and we would run the photo eye uh, through the relay so that <clears throat> that can set up as well. Again, best thing to do is buy the right uh, sensors, uh, the way your PLC is set up. That way you have one less piece that's going to be able to fail. Uh, or one less piece of the wire, which would be the relay. We wouldn't need the relay if we had uh, the same style of sensors. Okay, so that's the best case scenario. But if you run into an issue, you can't. This is a workaround to be able to use both a syncing and sourcing input device into a PLC.